The next one is Sky Food. Oh. Which isn't as long. This one will actually be it's a shorter read. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. Yeah. Item SCP-3531. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3531 is to be stored in the hangar of Site 3A. Tests are to be conducted in the discretion to, of the site director. Description. SCP-3531 is a Boeing 737 airliner. 3531 is, an, is unremarkable in both exterior and interior appearance. Appearance, and it is non-anomalous when not in flight. However, photographs, videos, and audio recordings taken within 3531 during flight show various forms of aquatic-based anomalous phenomena, as well as the manifestation of several humanoid figures acting as flight attendants on board. Despite this, observers remain either ignorant or unwilling to acknowledge the phenomena, in most cases refusing to believe video evidence. Addendum Test Log A series of tests were approved to observe the interior of 3531 mid-flight. The first test is logged below. Subsequent tests were deauthorized. Video Log Date September 7th, 2017 Note Multiple D-Class personnel were stationed in 3531 D-144 442 was issued a camera for the purpose of recording this video log. Agent Cole Carney was piloting at 3531. Begin log. 0 o'clock. D-1442 begins recording as 3531 takes off. The intercom starts playing a message. Hello everyone and welcome to your flight with Kingfisher Airlines. I will be your pilot. Now that we've successfully taken off, make sure to keep your seat belts, seat belts unbuckled. Make our jobs a little easier, eh? D-1442 promptly unbuckles their seatbelt. 223. D-1442 pans right. A shallow wave of water rushes through the aisle, depositing seaweed throughout the floor. 303. The camera shakes violently. D-1442 motors complain about turbulence. He pans quickly to the window. A jumble of wire has caught onto the wings of 3531, extending upwards indefinitely. 9.52. A pair of flight attendants interview. They appear to be struggling to walk. An attendant offers D-1442 a can of worms, which he accepts. D-1442 begins consuming the worms one at a time. 10.03. The flight attendants shamble back through the aisle. The seaweed from before has built up, now fully covering the passageway. 12.01. A flight attendant is seen escorting multiple passengers through the cabin. The attendant is draped, is draped in wires, their face no longer visible, with fish hooks in place of their hands. Passengers' wrists have been tied with fishing line. They do not resist as they are led through the aisle. 1503. The plane begins shaking violently. D-1442 hurriedly turns... To the window, multiple electric eels are present outside the window, weaving in and out of the clouds. Rapidly moving cloud formations expel waves of water and flashes of lightning, causing violent shaking within 3531. D-1442 laughs nervously, joking about a thunderstorm. 1514. D-1442 finishes the can of worms. 1601, an eel smashes through the window of 3531, wriggling, wriggling in D-1442's lap. D-1442 does not seem to notice this. The eel continues wriggling as waves of water crash into 3531, flooding the plane with water. As the water becomes level with the camera, choking noises can be heard along with violent camera shaking as D-1442 attempts to breathe the water. D-1442 does not stop, instead continuing to inhale, the water soon falling unconscious. 1635. The camera leaves 
D-1442 script, the camera drifts upwards, presumably having been let go of D-1442, eventually hitting a passenger's arm and turning around to reveal D-1442's floating body, among several others. The seaweed from before appears to be growing over many of the passengers' bodies. The camera remains buoyant, having hit the ceiling. 1712, Agent Cole Carney runs into view, seemingly unaffected by the lack of breathable air. He convulses briefly before collapsing to the ground. Cole Carney rears his head and unhinges his jaw, shooting several large hooks out of his mouth. Attached to the fishing wire, presumably originating from within Cole Carney, the hooks move on their own, impaling all the personnel ab aboard. Some hooks impaling multiple passengers. Cole Carney is dragged off screen, bringing the passengers with him. 1838, Intercom starts. It is interrupted by brief static, a message plays. Thank you for flying with King Fisher. The camera feed cuts out, likely due to water damage. End log. Upon landing, SCP-3531 was found to have suffered none of the damage captured on video. None of the personnel aboard were found within 3531. The camera was covered in D. 1442 seat, having suffered no water damage. Recovery S3531 was discovered after routine inspection of its black box footage by Mobile Task Force Lambda 4 Bird Watchers. The footage contained the following recording. Look, I'll get you your shipment. We've been held up with processing. Yes, I know how many times I've said I've said it. It's finicky. No, I, I swear, it's just logistics. The clothes are the main problem. We, we can't get them off mid-flight, so... There's nothing in attendance, no. They're working fine. But it's hard enough to convince the, the people that they're on a normal flight. Getting them to uh, prepare themselves like that would be... No, I'm sorry. It's It'll be fine. Just, it shouldn't take much longer. The shipment will be... The voice has since been identified as Miss Janet Kaminsky's... Mr. Janet Kaminsky, a pilot presumed dead along with the crew and the pa and passengers of her final flight, which had crashed into the Pacific Ocean. And that's it. But then I know anomaly. Oh look, it's a symbol that that will piss people off. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. Anyways, we might as well see the thumbnail. Just wait for Jerry to be, be unmuted. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I said four, but I didn't realize I was muted. Run a Bechdel test on the videos? What the hell is a Bechdel test? A Bechdel test, uh... I believe that's the test where basically, is there more than one woman? Do the women talk about something besides men? Uh, Do they talk about anyone besides men? But anyway, here's the thumbnail. What do you think of the thumbnail, Jerry? I I already said a four. I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Discord is messing around as well because I said that a few times after I unmuted, not just before I unmuted. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Did they go to license? They did. Okay, that's good. We ready? Yeah. Oh wait, gotta get rid of the image. All right. In three, two, one. Are you sure about this? I don't think this is a particularly good idea. 
Listen, you keep saying you need a vacation. Now I get this fantastic offer, and what? You're jealous? It's not about that. But don't you find it a little odd that you win some holiday you don't even remember registering for? Probably just slipped my mind. I'll be fine. You think you can survive for a few weeks without me? I'll be fine. You're the one I'm worried about. I'll send you a postcard from the beach. Take care, Doc. Chen made his way to the Airbus A380. The words Kingfisher Airlines, prominence on the fuselage. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-3531, Sky Food. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. The layout of the plane appeared relatively normal. The usual seat configuration and seat options. What did strike Chen as a little odd was the logo of the airline, a large hook. He disregarded his curiosity and put it down to marketing creativity, gone a little sideways. As he made his way to- What's that? Oh yeah, by the way, the plane's empty until it takes off. Yeah. So none of these oh, women will- that it doesn't say any of these details in the thing. It right. may get aquatic after a flight, but before, there's no Kingfisher thing or anything. It's just a normal Boeing airplane. Yeah. To a seat, also, a stewardess stopped him. All these Good people afternoon. have way more foot space than they should. Yeah. Is it so bad that it's hurting that that you haven't noticed the joke? Was the joke bad? Probably. Boeing, air Boeing airplanes have no foot space. All of these have foot space. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. Afternoon. Are you Mr. James Chen? Call me Chen. Only my mother. Never mind. Yeah. That's me. Welcome aboard Kingfisher Airlines. You've received a complimentary upgrade to first class. Oh yeah? Great. Front of the plane. Top deck, sir. The food is much better up there. Lead the way. The second floor first class seating was something else. It was Chen's first time flying in first class. Each person had their own private seating area. Chen settled into a seat as the crew made their final preparations for takeoff. Once they had reached cruising altitude, a voice came over the PA system. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your flight with Kingfisher Airlines. I'll be your pilot. Now that we've successfully taken off, make sure to keep your seat belts unbuckled. Make our jobs a little easier, eh? He hadn't heard that before. Keep your seat belts unbuckled? A stewardess returned with a tray of drinks. Can I offer you a glass of champagne or orange juice? Chen reached for the champagne, but something seemed a little odd. Best to keep his senses on full alert. He took the glass of orange juice instead. Please make yourself comfortable, sir, and let me know if there's anything else you need. Might I suggest you unbuckle your seatbelt? You'll be more comfortable that way. Appreciate it, but I think I'll keep it on. Are you sure? You wouldn't want to be stuck on the plane if... Something happened. Chen gave her a quizzical look, but before he could say another word, she walked away. The plane started to make a slow turn to the right belt. as Chen looked out the window. On the ground, a small stream of water ran across the floor. I said, he's not even wearing a seatbelt. Oh, apparently he magically is wearing a seatbelt. He. Yeah. The tray carrying nuts, napkins, and hot towels. Sir, warm snack? Thank you. Chen took a packet and set it down on his tray table. Don't eat that, a voice from behind him said. Chen started to turn around. Stop. Stay seated. Don't move. A hand came from behind his chair. In it was a syringe. Inject what? yourself with this. You'll need it if you want to get off this flight alive. What? Who are you? Just do it. Sir, I told you before, this area is for first class meals Passengers only. Please return to your seat now. Okay, okay. Remember what I said. As the stewardess escorted the man away, he glanced back at Chen. 
What the hell? What was Kloss doing on his flight? And what was the needle for? It didn't matter. If Kloss said to do it, he'd better do it. He injected himself with a syringe and hid the needle in the front seat pocket. Nothing. He waited another five minutes. Still, nothing. As he reached down for the packet of peanuts, he quickly pulled his hand away. It wasn't nuts anymore, but worms. It was a packet of worms. The lights flickered as the plane jolted upwards. He heard the stewardess in his ear. We're experiencing a little turbulence. Please ensure your seatbelt is unbuckled for your safety. He'd had enough of this. He turned to face her and give her a piece of his mind. What he saw before him wasn't that same stewardess, but some sort of sea creature. She had what? tentacles and scales all over her, but she was wearing the crew's uniform. Um, okay, sure. Thank you? You're most welcome, sir. Chen heard a crack of thunder and looked out the window. Where had the storm come from? As he peered out, he saw an electric eel flying next to the plane. What was going on? The plane banked deeply. Water rushed from one side of the plane to the other. Seaweed and fish strewn about the water as it rushed past. Now the water level was starting to rise. The plane was filling up with water. Kloss rushed down the aisle and stopped at Chen's seat. Did you take the injection? Yeah. I wish I had, though. This is insane. The window burst open and an eel came flying through. Water poured through the open window. Chen looked around the plane. All the passengers eel. appeared That's calm, a completely as if they could. That wouldn't be found in the same area. Yeah. Well, how did... One is a tropical fish, and the one they just showed rewinded a little. If it's the one I think it is, that would be the one he's uh, found in the Bay Area of California, which would be cold water fish. Mm. And electric eels are tropical fish, I believe. Yeah. Anyways. You're like, I'm not reminding this. I want to get through as possible. And that's fair. <laughs> yeah, it, they're not going anything with the article. I didn't see anything that was happening. Yeah. More stewardesses came down the, the aisle, an assortment of sea creatures, with most having fish hooks for arms. This is so they awesome moved through the cabin. That doesn't even count as an, a video on the SCP. Yeah. In passengers behind them. Be careful with the first class meals. They won't be happy if they're not fresh. What do we do? What? We need to bring this plane down. Well. Now. All right. Let's head for the cockpit. The they checked that the coast was clear. and got up from their seats, heading for the pilots. As they crept down the aisle, they saw more of the cabin crew picking up passengers and dragging them off. They reached the cockpit door. How are we going to get them to open it? Naughty, naughty. It's rude to dine and dash. Behind them were two of the cabin crew, hook hands at the ready. No, that one's no good. Let them go. We're done here. They heard the click of the cockpit door open. Chen and Kloss dashed in and shut the door behind them. Eh, you're a constant nuisance. You what? don't smell good, and I'm sure you don't taste great either. Chen and Kloss turned back and looked at the cockpit display. What? You! They heard the PA crackle to life. Hors d'oeuvres and canopies. Welcome to the fisherman's market. They're the using an SCP from another video. PM, and the temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. What? Please remain in your... Yeah, there was a, one where the, there's this child where if you... Very wounded child, if you go near it, you get hooked up in into another reality of fish giant fish like creatures. Yeah, that that SCP is unrelated to this. Yeah. Sealed packs and try to remain still until fully defrosted. We hope you enjoyed your flight and we look forward to surfing you again soon. Thank you for flying Kingfisher Airlines. SCP-3531 is to be stored in the hangar of Site-38. Tests are to be conducted at the discretion of the Site Director. SCP-3531 is an Airbus A380 airliner. SCP-3531 is unremarkable in both exterior and interior appearance, and is non-anomalous when not in flight. However, 
Photographs, videos, and audio recordings taken within SCP-3531 during flight show various forms of aquatic-based anomalous phenomena, as well as the manifestation of several humanoid figures acting as flight attendants on board. Despite this, passengers remain either ignorant or unwilling to comment on the phenomena, denying all claims and in most cases refusing to believe video evidence. SCP-3531 was discovered after routine inspection of its black box footage by Mobile Task Force Lambda-4 Bird Watchers. The recordings showed the following message played over the intercom, exhibiting its cognitohazardous effect. Okay, I got a little proposal for you. I know King Fisher only wants the best, so you better believe me when I say I found the best. Down in a certain little universe, in a certain little planet, all over it even, I found these little beauties. They're called humans. You'll love them. They've got these beautiful hands, four fingers, and that's not even including the opposable thumbs. Strong, dexterous legs, a full, meaty torso. Trust me, it's the whole package. Everyone's gonna want them. Problem areas, you say? Well, they've got a substandard moral compass. That's for sure. Let me change the message. You and me, I don't think anyone will notice. Don't trust those giveaways and spam messages you receive. Most of them surely are just click bait. No, no. You should Ironic, you say the click bait. Of your cabin crew. Remember, we're Wait, hold on. What's the message at the bottom? Also, I want to say did anywhere in there it said the flight attendants were fish people? Because I read shambling and I read I read there were the aquatic occurrences, but several humanoid figures of fight and uh, message several humanoid figures acting as fight on board. Just write this. Uh, let's see the 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 the, 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 the fight shamble back. The, I don't hold on. A pair of flight attendants interview. They see me showing the walk and then it offers. Uh, class uh, can of worms. Yeah, now they don't describe what the flight attendants look like. Only that they're humanoid. Yeah. They probably look human. Yeah. Or human enough. So the, the fish thing, even at the end, they didn't correct it. Yeah, and also at the end, the message, it's just talking like they get your shipment, but in clothes being the main problem. Not talking about, like, oh, yeah. The flesh of humans is going to be really good. What the fuck did you get that from? I don't know. Alright. Removal of character slash license. Yes, they did. Four. Yeah, the very last only character in there, technically, which would be the D-Class, was not there. Also, let's be fair... They fucked all the instances over. Even characters they kept in, they modified so much. Even the, the attendance, that it doesn't count as keeping the characters. Edit gore or violence. I think they did add more shit, though. They, uh, that was definitely a four on the violence. But they were doing so good with violence. Why did they suddenly go crazy with it? Yeah. Deviates from the plot of the article. Four. Yeah. Only men in the video. Hmm. Well, it's not only men, but there was... I don't it, oh, know yeah, uh, it technically now we don't know the fish or... people's genders? Oh, wait a minute. Did it actually say female flight attendants or just flight attendants? Oh, you're right. They, uh, flight attendants you're right, Sanju. Oh, that was Sanju? 
Yeah, Zanju said that. Technically not. We don't know if the fish was genders. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. So they changed them from non-gendered flight attendants and gave them all genders. Oh, yeah. In the only female in the article, Miss Janet Kaminsky is not mentioned. Okay, I guess we give it a four. Literally, it doesn't add any females. It removes other... I mean, changing the gender of the flight attendants is not adding females. Jerry. Jerry. Oh, no. We have our first zero percent. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Our first zero percent. And the thing is, it was on the shortest article. I think they included so much shit so they make the video longer. 